Hey folks, everything new under the sun. I'm not going to talk through this whole video. This is a bit of a test of um, the overlay feature using uh, Olympus I.O. Track on uh, mobile devices. I happen to use my iPad. And it's an overlay uh, that you can use based on data from my Olympus TG5, so the camera I use for my vlogging, uh, my YouTube videos, etc., etc. Um, it does GPS logging and as you can see there's an overlay of, of the track um, and uh, speed, uh, distance traveled uh, and elevation as well as you know vertical speed etc. Vertical speed I'm not sure why it doesn't really show much but anyways it also shows the direction you're going so I kinda go uh, it's not a very nice day uh, for videos but I kinda go uh, oh and I should mention uh, the video is lower quality because I had to go through some iterations to actually get this so that I could do this voiceover. So what happens is I have a 16 gig iPad. Now I was looking to use this for um, uh, longer travels so I could use, uh, show you uh, kind of long distance travel videos uh, maybe through hiking trails etc so that you could see the elevation, uh, you know, the speed, you know, some interesting metrics as it relates to the journey. Now the IO track um, app is the app that you can use to overlay the videos on or the the graphics on the videos that you create with your TG5. Uh, the problem is that I have a 16 gig iPad uh, which isn't a lot of space and I had a 12 minute video this was cut down this is a 9 minute video I had a 12 minute or 12 or 13 minute video I think cut down um, and it would you know I had four gigs free of iPad space and it, it was hard getting that video up there. First of all, it was slow over the Wi-Fi connection from the TG5 to the mobile device. Um, there is no uh, desktop application that Olympus provides, which is a real shame uh, because I'm fighting with space hugely. Um, the iPad is uh, slow. You know, it's an, it's an iPad Air uh, 2, um, but it is slow compared to a desktop, certainly for rendering video. And the fact that I couldn't uh, upload, I couldn't get this video on the iPad, I, uh, and then export it as a full-size, you know, 720p video or 1080 for that matter. Um, even though it, originally it was only about a two-gig file, I guess it wanted a lot more than four or five gigs to be able to render it. And I, I so I got the overlay. I couldn't add any voice because you can't do much editing in I/O Track, which is very disappointing to to be honest. I, I could not export it because I didn't have enough space, so I had to um, upload it to YouTube. Um, I could do that directly, and I had to upload it at, at I think, 480p. That's the only way it would export. It wouldn't export to 720 because of the space required on the iPad, of which I had none. So I uploaded it to YouTube, and then I downloaded it from YouTube again, which, you know, each time you upload, download it, it's decreasing quality. And I had to put it into my iMovie, and iMovie is, uh, is where I'm recording the audio overlay uh, right now and then I will have to upload it again um, after I'm done doing the audio overlay so it's pretty disappointing to be honest overall there's no desktop app that I'm aware of I was hoping to do um, um, like I say some some traveling some walking you know some running videos something like that um, just to give a kind of a a scenic uh, view of the landscape over some walking paths um, and use this overlay as kind of an interesting feature so you could follow along, see what I was doing, see the metrics, etc. And I thought it, I thought it would be interesting. Um, I think Garmin um, kind of holds the, uh, you know, is, has the corner on the overlay market in terms of at least what I've experienced, the software available, uh, the features available to get that video onto your desktop, use desktop software to get that overlay on there, etc. The Olympus uh, the, uh, stuff using mobile devices, your phone, etc., I think is very, very short-sighted. and uh, It doesn't work very well, especially if you don't have any space on your iPad. Um, and it just takes forever. You that, that video is rendering for 30 minutes, 40 minutes on your iPad or mobile device. And you can't use that mobile device for anything else. Uh, you can't multitask. Maybe if you have an iPad Pro, you could. Uh, but you can't multitask, so that, that device is now uh, down unusable whereas if it's a desktop application you start it to render and it will do its thing and you can do other things while you're waiting for it um, so pretty disappointed overall uh, but again I, I'm, I'm going to stop talking but just an example of kind of the overlay graphics of uh, Olympus and the TG5 
and using the IO track app uh, again which I think uh, is is not very helpful I, I mean I, even the overlay options are very limited in what you can do you can't move these things around there's like four templates of of the information you can apply there and there's not a lot you can do so um, anyways I'll stop it here guys I'll stop talking uh, you guys can watch the rest of it but um, just a little review of the the IO track app and the TG5 overlay functionality um, here I'm heading down into an unkept road. I had to think about it for a second. It's snowy down there. I was, wasn't sure if I'd get stuck or not. This is the interesting part. So anyways, you can follow along if you like. Um, but thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.